Hello, good folks. How are you doing? Hello. Just making sure where the live is picking up and giving people a chance to come in. I'm so glad that you're here, by the way. And I'm really glad that Deanne is here. Me too. I had so much fun last night when we were reading together. I really did. I, I had did a too. lot of fun. I lost track of time. I was. I thought I'm I gonna get in trouble. I told Dale, "It'd be an hour. It'd just be an hour." That's what. That's what I said. But nobody. It. It as it as it ended up happening here is just like perfect. Like I was here on my own for a long time, so I was just having a great time. It's like this is fun, man. And after I got off, I. I I I had a really good appetite, which that was good for me to have, and yeah. ate, and then I fell asleep listening to some really cool audio book. Oh, what you listening to? Um, I, it was something on. I'll have to go back and get it for you guys. I'll post it. I can't remember something about. It's, it's a mystery, so need. Oh, I'll, I would like it then. I like. Mystery. I'll post it because I'm not. He was reading I'm a book last night. He wrote. He wrote another book. He is constantly writing uh, stories. He writes a lot of short stories, and then I lay him back. But he was reading it to me last night, and I was so tired. I I don't remember half of it. He's going to have to tell me some of it. <laughs> that's all right. I think that's wonderful. Let's let's uh, let's welcome some of the people coming in. And Teresa Levine, Bethany, Jr., Jake Tay. Oh. Uh, Oh, this is true crime. I was going to ask about Shakira. Well, we can, we can, if we have a little bit of extra time, I'm, I'll just star that because it, I was, I was curious about it myself. Um, and flowing says that she'll be listening in the background. Thank you. Hi. And hello. And Isadora Smith is with us too. That's she a says, pretty name. Yeah, I love that. I love that. You don't Isadora. You don't hear it very often, Isadora. You don't. And I love Isabella. I think, oh, it's just so feminine and beautiful. Uh, so Isadora Smith is with us. Who is right. Sarah and Jacob Hoggle? Is that a oh. mystery or something that I'm not? Uh, it must be. So can you? Yeah, I can. I can. Maybe not this time, but for next time. I can add it. There's a, uh, I've got one for next week so i can add it to next week's i'll just star that i love it when people put suggestions down there because it really helps out because then oh you can God. write them down and there's a week you're like i can't think of who i want to read on and then you got your little suggestions from everybody it's it, it's very much the truth very much the truth and um it's that's you know that's the whole kind of goal for me when of creating a, a, a space for community here too yeah i'm the one that that's here guiding it and you know administrators and doing all that but it's meant for me to be able to interact with you and other people and and to use this odd little gift that we have uh kind of worked and built up and our our building um and see what we come up with and share it you know and I love mysteries and I love, I used to always think I wanted to be, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a spy or I wanted to be a private investigator with yes. one of the things. And, uh, or I wanted to be a witch or I wanted to be a magician. So the thing is I love about the tarot is it's like all, you're all of those things. Yes. You that's to solve a mystery. It's a little magical. Um, and you're like a detective by looking at the cards and putting pieces of a puzzle together. Yes. So it, it incorporates all those things when I was a little kid that I kind of wanted to be, you know? Absolutely. It's funny you say that because I can, that resonates a lot with me too. Absolutely. I'm going to shift my mic over here. Oh, and the witch I wanted to be was a good one. I wanted to be Samantha from Be Witch. I loved Samantha. Show. I wanted to look like her. I just wouldn't have married Daryl. Because, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, you did not have to clean your house. And you could just wiggle your nose and have it clean. That your yeah. husband's going to say, no, I want you to get on your hands and knees and scrub that floor. And don't you, yeah, honey. Yeah, bye-bye. Have a nice day at work. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Exactly. <laughs> sure. Would, I'll get right on that. My nose would probably break my nose. I'd be wiggling it so much. <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I, I would do the same. I would do the same. So just looking to see what cases we're going to be covering today. Let me just get on to this. Sorry, folks, it takes me a hot minute. There's so many tabs you have to have open. Okay, so we're going to be looking at a case out of Boston from 1999. And just to be to let you know, I'm not at all familiar with um, Kara Holmes' case. She was an au pair. Um, and What's an au pair? She's uh, a nanny, a hired I nanny. I've never heard that. Maybe. It's the French word for it that, oh. you know, hoity-toity. Uh, yeah yep. and and we'll we'll be also it's all about the east coast today um we'll be looking at the uh i think it's pronounced the gilgo beach uh murders that had been going on in new york where okay. you probably remember it because they were finding um many uh sex workers um buried in this beach area that were, you know, responding to uh, customers around that, that locale. Very, very interesting case cases. Wow. So it's, yeah, there's quite a bit, quite a bit there. And um, I just wanted to make everyone aware. That's what we'll be looking at. And if you're not sure, it's it is mentioned in the description box and we'll get to that so we're just going to allow people to come in and just making sure i've got my water my my coffee uh yeah it's about as good as yeah, it's going to get <laughs> nothing nothing too nothing too crazy my tequila and my vodka no i'm just kidding um, I wish I had another bottle of water. This one will have to do. All right. I did remember my water. Uh, yeah, I've got some on order. All right. So how are you guys doing? I Like I'm expecting to hear from all of you. <laughs> Beverly Davis says, hello, ladies. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Teresa. Jay. Hello. Isadora. Isadora, Jake says, is a magical name. It sounds like it belongs in Lord of the Rings or the Game of Thrones. I agree. It does. It sounds very like royal or something. It does. It does. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pick up on Karina Holmes' case. And I'm going to just get us. I'm going to put this on mute for a minute and bring up a page so we can look at her case. Okay. Okay. Now. I like your background, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. Really thank cool. you. That is Eumus. The god of grain and harvest and abundance, Latvian. We were talking about that. Yeah. So, okay. I think I found one I can share that's fairly decent. Screen share, folks. Jake says, I'm looking at Karina's picture to get her energy. Is Karina that's the where, first one Karina, we're going to do? Maybe yes. I'll look at her picture, too, unless you'll probably have it up here. Yeah, I was trying to, but this is weird. Okay, they they don't show it on this whole article about her. That's annoying. All right, so I'll just go straight to images. She was very beautiful, in my opinion. Here she is, lovely young lady. And this is out of Boston, Massachusetts, 1999, unsolved um, murder. Let's see if you guys can see... Oh, I'm sorry. Can't see it yet. Weird. All right. And teach me how to do that someday. <laughs> yeah, once I get it down pat, huh? <laughs> so once you get it down pat, then you teach me. Okay. 
Oh, she is a cutie pie. She's beautiful. Yes, now it's working. Now we can see her. Um, very, very, very sweet young like lady. A girl next door kind of face, you know? Yes, absolutely. Cheerleader, that kind of. And I'm going to CNN as a source here from, and this is from 2015, July 6th. Okay. These are, well, these are obviously different suspects, not, not her, but somebody else unsolved. Oh, I see. They're just listing faces. Okay. Well, that's what she, that's what she looked like. All right. And I'm going to get to you about the case. It, it was um, pretty, pretty morbid. So let me just stop the share on that. And I'll just read to you here. Um, this is from Morbidology. And this is from October 10th, 2020. The unsolved murder of Karina Holmer. She was 20 years old and she was from Sweden. Um, she was a Swedish au pair, which is a nanny. Um, is one of she her case Karina Holmer is one of Boston's most gruesome unsolved crimes. Uh, Karina had lived in Skillingard, Skillingard, Garid, uh, Sweden, um, before winning around one thousand five hundred dollars in a local lottery, and she had always wanted to travel, and so she took this money and she just embarked on a journey. Uh, and I'm sure it brought her to work in, in, you know, in, in Boston. So just after arriving a month of uh, being in Boston, uh, unfortunately, uh, her, her body, which had been dismembered, was found in plastic bags and a trash bin. Um, and unfortunately, the bottom portion has never been recovered, despite an exhaustive search, and her killer never identified. Wow, poor thing. Poor yes. Thing. And so in March 1996, she caught a flight to Boston uh, in the United States and here she took her new career as an au pair in an upscale suburb of Dover. Okay. Okay. But on, I don't know the, why they gave me 1999, but I get that wouldn't be the correct year. It'd be 1996. I don't know. Anyway, correction uh, withstanding. On, on the 20th of June, 1996, Karina and several of her friends went out for drinks at the Zanzibar nightclub in downtown Boston. Okay. Um, she had a fake ID and could easily pass for 21. However, that night she never returned home after this outing and the morning of the grisly scene was discovered by a man searching a dumpster ooh, in Fenway park area for recyclable, uh, for recyclables and her remains, part, part of her remains were recovered this way. Um, all right. There were a number of witnesses who had seen Karina on the night before they came forward that they saw her leave the nightclub with an older male, um, who they saw bouncing her. They saw her bouncing around an alleyway in a near, at, near the nightclub. She appeared intoxicated and was complaining that her friends had abandoned her. Good oh. God. According to one of her friends, Karina had told her that she and the older man were going to an after hours party. The man who had taken Karina to the nightclub on the night of her murder informed investigators that he was threatened by two men outside the nightclub as he tried to take Karina home. Um, 
He said that Karina was sitting inside a car with two men mm -hmm. in the early morning hours. He leaned into the car and had said, let's go. You came with us, referring to himself and the other group of her friends. He told investigators that one of the men replied, get away from the car, you little bitch, or I'll crush your effing head. So this guy, I want to stop so I don't get confused. This guy, he met her up in the bar, right? He was yes. going to take her to an after hours club, but mm -hmm. there was two other guys in the bar, outside of the bar in a car, and they yes. told her she's coming with us. That's what it sounds like from and what she I came think. with us, but she didn't. She came with girlfriends. She came with the girlfriends, but the guy that she was originally seen with or he, the last seen with is claiming that he saw her in a car with and with these other guys, you know, he's pointing the finger away from himself and okay. maybe, to, and maybe we don't even know if these other guys existed. That's right. So um, it was uncovered early on in the investigation that she had been planning on coming back home to Sweden in August to cut her trip short um, that, Oh, in a letter to a friend, she had said that something terrible had happened, but said she would explain it all when she came back home. Karina's sister, Johanna, said that it was that that it is that Karina was unhappy, said that it is Karina that was unhappy about anything. Oh, OK. That she hadn't confided in her. According to the family who Karina was working for, she seemed happy enough with her job and had no complaints to them. There was very scant evidence. Um, and only piece of evidence in the case was a partial fingernail print, fingerprint, sorry, that was discovered on the plastic bag that her upper body um, was found in. It was run through the national database. There was no match. Swabs of her mouth, fingernails revealed nothing. It, it wasn't even known where the crime occurred. One investigator said, it's not like we have a boyfriend that we can look at. There's no boyfriend, so there's no, so no one's a suspect and everyone's a suspect. All right, so let's leave it. Wow. Poor, poor girl. Yeah. So let's leave that there. And folks can, you know. So dangerous see. for a young woman like that traveling so far away from. It is. And, and even just, you know, what kind of friends I'm wondering did she Thank have? You. And I'm I mean, very good friends, new friends maybe, because she, she wasn't there that long. Right. So they're not like old, dear friends. They're newer friends she probably met when she went to Boston. They're just but younger and foolish. I, 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 you know. Yeah. You don't, especially if the, if a strange man comes around your friend, and your friend's inebriated. Oh. I would never let my friend leave with a strange man when they were drunk. It, it, you know. No. I would be saying, no, no, you're not. You're not. You're not going nowhere. I'd be arguing with them. Mm -hmm. and, and I would and never leave a friend, a drunk, especially <clears throat> a drunk friend, in a bar where oh God, God knows. Okay. But the friend said she told him that she was going out with this older guy. They mm -hmm. saw him in the bar, right? Yeah. And they slept with him is what they saw. That's and according to them. Going to an after hours club. So this was what the friend said. Yeah. But it, I'm not under the impression that she knew this dude very long. I think he asked her if she wanted to go to an after party. Huh. I don't think the after party was anywhere but someplace convenient for him to do whatever he wanted. That's what I think. But let's see what the cards want to say. Yeah. So what should we ask first? What should we? Well, um, I'm. Was it the man that was witnessed bouncing her around in the alleyway, and and the one that offered to take her to an after party? Is he connected? 
or is it someone else? Let's let's just go and by her process. name again, just so I got that in my head. It is Karina. Karina. Uh huh. Karina Holmes. I don't believe there really was two men. I don't either. In a car. I think it was him. I do too, but let's see what I get. I get a Queen of Swords. It's an independent woman. And I get a Queen of Cups. And I get the star and the strength. She's this somebody is a predator, and I think she's the yeah. second victim. I think she's a second victim of this person. Her blonde hair stood out with the star card and the strength. This is somebody that's overbearing to me and targets women that are on their own. Yeah, I got the hangman for the, uh, the, the main card there that says that she, somehow she felt trapped. Mm -hmm. She had trapped her somehow. And here we are got with the... Too? Yep, I got the, el the older man with the emperor, and I got the three of cups. That's the partying with the friends. That's, you know, I see him coming in on their her maybe in a couple of people hanging out kind of coming in on their scene and working his way into place. Yeah. Very yeah. persistent, very persistent and stubborn with the Knight of pentacles and the ace of wands, violent, you know, pushy energy with him. These are the cards that call, fall around him. Yeah. That's interesting. I I think he was thinking about it. I don't know. I got an occupation card, so I don't know if he maybe knew her from work or for some, you know, had knew where she worked or knew something about her, mm -hmm. but said that uh, she was uncertain about him, uh, but he was, he was kind of, he, he, he was watching her and waiting for her Yeah. and contemplating this, I think, for longer than that night. So I yeah. wonder if it's somebody who knew her where she worked with the family. Yeah. And so, look at this. I, I see him as being the one that came up to her mm -hmm. and then we get the assault. And so I asked, was it the man that was throwing her around in the alley? Yeah. I believe this is, he approached her. This is a, 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 an affirmative to me. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then I, yeah, I get the Knight of Swords and the Hierophant. I got the Eight of Swords, so she felt, again, feeling trapped, feeling imprisoned, uh, stuck. Her friends left her. So yeah. she was mentally trapped. Her friends left her. She was stuck where she was. She felt trapped. She, But when he, he did that, it said she was paralyzed with fear and terror. Yeah, and he, he maybe she screamed. He silenced her. She felt powerless, and yeah. he had a lot of psychological issues. Mm -hmm. She tried to. She was trying to be strong. She was trying to be brave. Um, but what else? He was a stalker. I think. I think he got the page of swords. I think he was a stalker. I think he'd been watching her. Definitely get that with him. I definitely get that he liked to um, watch, watch these women, watch women and, and like, and <clears throat> ooh, I misspelled her name. Let me just correct that and retype that in. And like, it's like a, you know, a predator picking who appeals that there were certain women that appealed to him. And I, I get her and another woman. So I feel like there's been at least two women that, that he did this to, that he's done this to, maybe, maybe up and around the same time frame. Let me respell her name. Yeah, I get more than one woman too. Oh wow! One woman, two. And this is in Boston. Three. I get about four different women he has done this to. I would it not wasn't be his surprised. first time. Yeah. He was a it's, predator. He knew just. 
how to do this teams. I forgot to put Boston, but so I do think it was the man that was seen out in the alleyway with her. Okay. So then we have an answer there. I think his story of two other men telling him to beat it is baloney. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got truth in reverse. It was a lie. <laughs> And I want to thank you guys that are coming in. Thank you so much for joining us and for the mysteries. And, you know, if you guys want to make sure that I continue to do this and you enjoy this, just make sure you put the thumbs up because that's what lets me know what you want to see more of. And it also helps my channel get more people to see this and helps my channel to grow. And I'm kind of at a plateau. I really need a boost. So I'd appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. I want to see. I don't think that the man that did this is still alive. Now, I did get that he's full of hate. Mm. Did a very dark thing. I don't know. The truth may come out eventually. I bet. About what he did with the female. That's a good point. I think if chances are, if one part of her body was in a skip or a, you know, garbage bin, like it was outdoors, I think her body's, the upper part is probably in a landfill somewhere, you know. I think so too. There's our friend, P44 Chippo. Hey, P44. Hello. Hey, P44. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here today and for last night to being with us. Everyone. Thank you so much. This is a sweetie pie. And Jake says that he gets that he had jet black hair. Oh. All jet right. Jet black hair. If my pendulum says that too. Did the killer have or jet or black had? Did the jet, the killer have jet? I I'm, get yes to that. I'm too, getting yes. Jake. For me, the ace of, I'm sorry, the knight of cups is a yes. So yeah. Yeah. Amy, yes, I will. She said, "Could you pray for me?" I fell earlier in my bad knee with the. Her side is hot. It hurts. I would really appreciate some prayers to get quick healing. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to send you some Reiki right now. So just prepare to receive it. And anybody else that needs it. Just universal chi. That is stamina. We all need it. <laughs> we all need it. And sometimes we just... It can just be a channel for that energy to move through and go go to where it needs to go. You just need to be open to receiving it. It's just whatever you know God's got in store. I don't I don't do anything bad. <laughs> Only good energy. So thinking of you and I've got my I've got my candle burning on my altar there, so always lifting every everyone up. Yeah, I'll pray for you, Amy, and pray that Archangel Raphael, he's yes. a healer, that he comes and lays hands on you and heals your knee quickly. Yeah, and just oh, just be mindful of being open to re to receive. Oh, somebody Vixen Doe said, or he destroyed the lower part of her body to erase the DNA traits from semen. Oh, so he violated her. Yeah. They could use DNA if they had DNA when this was done. It was in the 90s, so yeah, I think they would have. Let's just ask, uh, not to be morbid, but to say, did he do something different? Raped her. Did he rape her? Yeah, I think he raped her. Oh, for sure. Oh, that, for sure. That is exactly why I think. Is this why the lower half of her body was missing? Is this why the lower half? Yes, he was trying. She's exactly right. It was, I think, I think you're exactly right. I think it was to hide the evidence from DNA because. And identification. To slow yeah. down identification. 
Jake says, I also saw the bar before you mentioned it. I also heard the name Kyle and the age 26. He possibly committed suicide. Let me do my pendulum on that. All right. Did he, did he commit suicide? And I'll do the cards on that, see what I get. Just okay. so we can. I got suicide. I did get, he committed suicide. Um, was, how old was he? Was he 20? No. No, I got an older man. I got the emperor. Seven of pentacles. Was this he one. over 30? Yes. Was he over 40? Yes. Was he over 50? Was the killer over 50? Was the killer 55? 56? Early 50s, I bet. Oh wow! I'm getting, I'm getting like uh, late fifties, early sixties. I don't. Maybe she trusted him because he seemed like an older man, and she was a young girl, and he offered to give her a ride. And you know, oh, they're having this other party. I got the emperor, so yeah, that's you know, the father type figure, and yeah. and, and 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 somebody old enough basically to be her father. And I also get, this was a plan um, with the seven of pentacles and where the queen of pentacles, these women are like collective trophies. Oh God. Um, Ace of cups and justice. This, this energy that he gets out of it is disproportionate, it needs to be balanced. Um, I think the law, I think was, looking at him maybe for yeah, another I, case maybe for another so case because i got earlier I, I i i didn't i didn't show you that before but i i had uh, the uh, court card flew out for him oh. when i was asking about him mm -hmm. i got asked about him some more i got the three of swords so oh, i shoot. feel like he had a broken relationship that I think he had a hatred for women maybe about. He was heartbroken. Yeah. And he yeah. severed ties or that girl or somebody he was with severed ties with him before. So he felt he was betrayed and he had a had it out for women. He was and a particular uh -huh. a particular look, a particular kind. Yeah. He, he had a type as they say. Yeah. So he was and I got the uh, Empress in reverse. So uh, oh, he had wow. a lack of confidence. He, uh, he had a lack of self-love. Lack of um, motherly love. Lack of, yeah. that's a misogynist upside down. Exactly. And then eight of cups in reverse. I got that, you know, he had abandonment issues. A lot so of his she people. tried to tell him, no, I don't want you to have sex with me. No, leave me alone. You're an asshole. Whatever. You're old Listen. enough to be my dad. My father. Yeah, so he had abandonment issues, and when she said things to him, I think it made him remember, you know, triggered, triggered. triggered yes, yeah. yeah. and and uh, I got the nine of swords there too. So um, I think he is a, he was in anxiety. I don't know if this was her or him, but I I think that he was a deeply unhappy person. He may have felt remorse and regret after he did it, but he was just, he was triggered, I think, focused on the past, focused on what happened. He may have regretted it afterwards, and he's been having nightmares. He was having nightmares. Haunted. And illness and haunted. Yes. Because of this, he tried with the Five of Cups to move forward wow. and was hoping, you know, that he, didn't. he, he could mm -hmm. be forgiven you know, by God, by whoever, but he might have regretted, he don't want to get caught, but I don't know if he regretted what he did. I don't know, but I, he, he was not a good person. Yeah, and even Jake gets, I get that this guy killed another girl age 26. Oh. And that's why I got that. Yeah, that would not surprise me at all, Jake. Yeah, I get he because, was really cold and controlling. Yes. It was all about having control over 
a young, defenseless, particular type of looking female, yeah. it seems. I think he would cruise the bars looking for looking. That's why we kept getting that there's that sense of surveillance right. with him. You know, being like a stalker. But with this King of Swords in reverse, I think mm -hmm. he was very brutal, cold, and controlling. And yeah. very violent, obviously, and ruthless. And he had a lack of integrity. Very judgmental towards women. Yes, I, I, I feel that too. And for the fact that they said, I'm really, really disturbed that they see him throwing her around in an alleyway and nobody comes over and says, hey, 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 buddy. Yes. What's what wrong the? with people? Why don't they step in? There was one woman one time was stabbed multiple times and everybody's seen it in an apartment complex. Nobody called the police. Nobody come and help. Yep. And they're always afraid. Oh, I don't want to get involved. You know? Yeah. But I think he had a hatred towards women and I think yes. he... He had a hatred toward a particular woman. I think he thought she was a slut. She was there alone. She was drunk. You know, asking for it or what? Yeah, you're asking for it. Yeah, that kind of thing. Let's see if if he, I wonder if he died in prison or outside of it for something else. I do think that they were looking at him for another case, maybe assault cases, you know, domestic battery, something like that. I'll ask if he was convicted of any other crime. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Was he convicted of any other crime? Was he convicted of any other crime? I'm getting right away yes intuitively, but I'm, I'll back see what the cards want to say. I get the Ten of Cups, which to me is a powerful yes. Yeah, but I think he didn't get, he did, I don't know if he was jailed. Was he jailed? Was I he, get the Hanged Man. No, I think there was some reason that that was delayed or delayed something. and he wasn't and he got away somewhere else. I don't know where he was from. Was the killer, did it say he was from Boston? Uh, it doesn't say. They don't know. Was the killer from Boston? Was the killer from Boston? I'm getting a King of Cups again. And I'm a getting two of a cups. yes. I think he hung around the bar scene looking to pick up that type of women. And he was a drinker. Yeah. He was a drinker himself. Yeah, I know that they were slutty. They were, especially when her friends left her and she was there alone. She might have been drunk. She might have been belligerent to him. Later. And he, and, and I think he was probably her. equally. I think he gets the Dutch courage. Yeah. By the the drink. That's what I'm getting at. Yep. Then yeah. the very next card was the Ace of. of wands next to that king of cups he's too violent and he drinks and i think it brings out the worst yep he's overbearing with the strength especially on women with light colored hair oh yes i see that yeah the woman in this one light colored hair and he has kind of a medium brown hair but that doesn't to me matter i'm looking more at the women again oh. Another woman with golden hair represented. I got something else I wonder about. Ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, tell me. Okay, I got this for cold case, right? Yeah. kind of a cold case. It's a cold case. But I got the money card, destroy the world, destroy women. So I'm wondering if there was any kind of trafficking thing possibly going on because was he trying to get money for her maybe sell her maybe prostitute her no i don't think so somewhere else i don't know why the money cards here but he did want to destroy women i do get that he you know what hatred. he probably was involved in that kind of thing he might have been but i think this is something he did for personal pleasure yeah uh, but it um, might have been something he did Oh, not in that case, but who knows if he was involved in that stuff. That's wouldn't weird surprise that me. Out. Let's see. So, not a nice man. Nope. Uh, okay, yeah, I get these women put up a fight. 
Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles. And he just felt like, I, I just get with that, he just felt like uh, the objectification of women for pleasure. Well, you know, with the money, too, I thought, well, if he was yeah. buying her drinks and stuff, he may have thought, you owe me. Yep. You owe me you to have sex with me. I've been buying you drinks all night. There are men that are like that. Unfortunately, men who hate women and who think that you're a slut anyway. Yep, I'm gonna take this sweatshirt off now. The sun comes out, so I'm like, ah. Ooh. Sorry. Jake says I did get the star reverse, blonde woman. There, kind of almost wonder if he married, if he was married to a blonde woman, that his eyes, in his eyes, did him wrong, possibly in a monetary sense. Yeah, maybe, Jake. Maybe, yeah, maybe because there I got was a woman who took money from him, and you know, maybe he just thought, oh, you're another one. I bought you drinks. You're not going to do anything for me. You're just a slut. Well, she really hurt him, and. Um, never obviously his little ego never got over it because i got the star as well and that's the first thing that made me think he's got a type this is somebody that he's looking for there is a type and my uh and this is the star tarot the one that is representing the star tarot has has very blonde hair and noticeably the color of that young lady's kind of uh medium blonde yeah, Tone. I get that too. He hated especially blonde women. Yeah, lighter he colored hair that reminded him of his wife mm. or the person who did him wrong. He felt that. Yep, I'm, I'm thinking so. I'm gonna see. Oh, Jake, you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Bad family. So again, lost some money, maybe. Also. Possibly Italian descent. Let's see. Was the man who killed her of Italian descent? Was the man who killed her of Italian descent? It's saying yes. I got the, the I get the fool. You get the fool? Mm-hmm. Not quite sure. Oh, and then I get the, the uh knight of swords. So I'm gonna say that would be a yes. Maybe that he's got a strong background there. Even if he's not entirely Italian, I think there's really strong identification with it. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, Prince of Swords again. And I think, Hierophant, I think brought up very conservatively. And maybe with a strict religious bend. So probably Roman Catholic. Because it is the Pope on the card, y'all. All right. Was he anybody who was, uh, what was, do you know what his, his, nobody knows what his job was or who he was as far as his name or anything. Because mm -mm. I get that he may have been an official person of high honor. So I'm wondering. I'm just if getting union. Dead. I'm just getting union for some reason. When Right when you said that. In courthouse. Could it have been a judge, a lawyer, somebody who, you know? Jake says, I got the Hierophant as well. Next to the Ten of Pentacles, I was thinking Catholic. Uh, flowing says, I have a feeling that he hates his mother, mm -hmm, maybe, and the bad childhood, uh huh, with that yeah. ten of, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Mm -hmm. um, Jake says he hears the word engineer. engineer. Yeah, could be. And I get the I, I get the feeling that can definitely be. He could be a con, uh, in construction. I I I feel like this the word union. You know that he was like in the tradesman, like that. Yeah, just I feel like that too. It's a blonde thing. And I got about four women. I'm going to ask what his job is and see if I can get any clarity with the cards. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. 
was this man's job that did this to her? Or what had been his job? I did get the three of wands in reverse, which is talking about her returning from travels and wanting to move back home. Yeah, like That's I've had enough lot. of this. Mm -hmm. I get the six of swords. And I got the emperor too, that he was an older man. Mm. I'm getting the queen of wands. Some mystery here though, with the high priestess. And the three of pentacles. He worked for other people. And I do think, because usually there's somebody with the blueprint here, I think construction. Yeah. I Way got he was a shameless flirt. Mm. Came on too strong. Yeah. That, that occurred to me too with that ace of wands. Like, ugh. Like, go away. Hello. Right. Uh, Linda Sandifo says, I thought I was a moderator. Oh, you should be. So Jake said, Six of Swords is an intelligent card which would fit with Engineer. This guy wasn't stupid. No, no. I don't think he was either. No. That's no. why he knew to cut that bottom half off to keep himself from and known he was the one that raped her. Was he an engineer? How can my pendulum is saying yes about engineer? Yeah, I and and that three hi Chris. And I got that that three of pentacles gave me that sense of like construction work, you know, in yeah. that and something maybe in, in that way and did he die in prison? Did he go to prison? Did he yeah. go to prison? Did he go to prison for any of that? I don't get that he's in prison or went to prison. Did he I, kill himself? I'm just going to ask what his end what caused his Did end. Did he kill himself? I, I get suicide. Hmm. Remember I had that ten of swords where he was up at night. Maybe, you know, the things he did. Haunting maybe him. Haunting him. Maybe those girls were haunting him. Mm hmm. I would think so. That's I'd haunt pretty... him. I would too. You got it. Let me see. What did him in? What did this man in? How I get the sun. He died. I get the sun. Where's and I get the three of pentacles. More than one other person. Maybe he. Uh, and the Wheel of Fortune, something caught up with him. And I think it was to do with money, P Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, well, we got that money card earlier, too. Mm -hmm. It's just and trying to figure where it fit in. Uh, so I think it was other people's money. Something about that because it deals with the three of pentacles and maybe, maybe he was skimming money from the union or doing something like that, doing some shady work there. I, I, I think this guy was kind of an all around criminal type. But I think Jake's right. He wasn't, he wasn't a dumb man. He was no, a lot, no, of, lot of sociopathic, psychopathic people are geniuses even you know yep i get temperance in the six of swords i think a variety of things took him out you know so i'm i'm thinking his lifestyle his his genetic you know predispositions you know i feel like that took him out i don't know it I think also it could be karma, you know, this could be things catching up with him, setting the setting things balanced. And there's a transition. Mm, he probably there this is somebody that's definitely troubled in the mind, definitely has mental issues. Tried to protect have have high boundaries with people, probably because he knew what he he was doing was wrong. 
was not very loving. I get the case. It's, it's muddy. The guy's full of hate. Hmm. It's going to come to light eventually because I got the whistleblower. So somebody hmm. is going to know something. Maybe it'll come out someday, but it talks about them being guilty, but it's going to come out very slow. It'll probably take a long time before we ever find out, but it says, of course, the bad guy came out, which we know that. Yeah. But he maybe they will ID him like like a lot more men that have and, and others that have been identified as who, even though they may be deceased or whatever. Yeah, we're finding out. I think it could be a case like like that. Right. And, and, and information, you know, anonymously be given. Yeah. Let so me try this give it anonymously. Dark, dark truth deck. I'm going to see. Because they may not be able to sleep at night knowing what kind of man he was, you know. Mm -hmm. And once he's gone, it'll come out. Family member or somebody that knew yeah. him well. Let's see what I get. Will he ever be exposed as Karina Holmes? Will we ever find out who committed her murder? Yeah. It says, yeah, we will find, it'll be found out someday. This person had commitment issues. Okay. Cold shoulder. Yeah, definitely about the women, but this not... Karmic connection, weak boundaries, yeah, predator, toxic addictions, delicate situation, holding back. So this is. I'm not getting a yes or no on it with these guys. It's going to be five or six years, I think, before we find out. Look at this, the losing faith. Yeah, it's, it's right. a, they're losing faith, that they're never going to find it. That's a rosary. Uh, Roman Catholic. You said that, yeah. What if it was even a priest? Avoiding the truth. No, I don't think it's a priest. I don't, I don't feel know. like it is. I, but, you know, I think, yeah, Roman Catholic, they're very... Avoiding what? Avoiding the truth. Oh, I like those cards. Yeah, and it shows addiction. I think this person has numbed themselves, you know, about what they've done. But I think as they aged, fighting feelings, yeah, out of balance. This is all about control. But it didn't answer my question. What I want to see is, will this person, so I'm going to try with these little runes. Will this person What's be the identified? Next question you want to ask? I'm going to see if still if he's going to be identified. I just want to see because that those those cards didn't cut it for me. Just want to see if I can get that with this. I get waves. Oh, you got your runes. Yeah. I got some of those. Yeah, I really like these ones. And I thought I need to get those out. Fly. So, oh, this is interesting. Foretells of the arrival of important news. It is a positive rune. It stands for good tidings, insight, and knowledge. So I agree. I agree, okay? He will be, I think, identified. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. But I think it's, like I said, I think he's gone because I think I got this. I feel like it's after he's oh, already he's... gone and yeah. dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is going to be somebody who's going to come forward with that information about him and the foolish things that he did. And then I got this in reverse. The yep. world is reversed. I think that, you know, somehow it's and, a, and it's a closing of a cycle or something. So, and you know, I got the sun on him. So that's him being revealed. I didn't think about that. Duh. And, and yeah. folks in the, in the chat are picking up stuff as well this that's that's right in course with what we're picking up i got suicide hmm. too jake i never checked for the date that he committed suicide i'll see what my pendulum map says yeah try that out but i don't get it he's alive no i feel like he's dust i feel I don't like feel bad for him either he's I think getting he's his uh worm food 
what do you call that? His life review. He's going to have to feel everything he did to every woman. And he's going to have to feel that. So I wouldn't yeah. want to be him. No. So we want to ask, when did he commit suicide? And I'll Let's see if see. I can. Did he commit suicide in 2002? No. 2003? No. Did he commit suicide in 2004? I need to try I get the five of cups, maybe 2005. Okay, I'm getting 2006, so we're right around there. So it's probably between, you know, and it, it's hard to mm. give exact dates, yeah. you know, entertainment purposes only. So, yeah, maybe it was around 2004, 2006, because we're right in that time period that he committed suicide. And again, I think it was really through excessive use of I think he was a bit of a glutton so I think anything that he did he did too extreme I think uh drink eat sex all that and I just I just think the that excess you know fatty liver can cause all kinds of problems it I feel, I like, feel it, like drugs could be a drug and definitely could be drugs. Oh, I get cocaine. I'm picking up cocaine and alcohol really strong. Yeah. There's like this, there's like little powdery stuff on top of these, these uh, cups. You can't see it so well. But it when I just look down and it's kind of like, almost like a powder. So it's, it's giving me a sense of cocaine and alcohol. Yeah, I feel like flowing says a family member knows what he's doing. Maybe a brother will tell him what he did. Because you know how you cover for family members? Maybe they you just have that guilt knowing that you're covering and then he died and then it's hard. And they to could have been afraid. With. Could have been yeah. afraid that they'd be next. Could have been. And they've held on to that secret. Maybe before they die, they want to tell. Yeah, so on... Um, with, I think we've covered uh, Karina's case. It looks like we're getting that whoever did this will one day be identified. And um, we'll see if any of our impressions bear out. Um, and we definitely see that this person is guilty oh. of harming others. Yeah. Other and females. I hope they do find out. And just for the, the sake of all those girls he's killed. Those other, if there is four, then the other three's family is needing to know too. Absolutely. So Absolutely. That poor girl, man. I've done that. I've gone out to bars when I was younger. I had one time my friends decide to go and I stupidly young stayed. And, and you know what I mean? No, oh, yes. Like, I did. I've, I've, I've done things that, that, thank God, angels or somebody was watching out for oh, me. Oh, my God. I shouldn't be here today same dumb stuff i did you just think back and you just cringe and you just like oh my god who was yeah. i what was i thinking thank uh, you for protecting me because yep and please, please continue to protect those as you can you know this was also a karmic there is some karmic thing involved in this so i'm not quite sure how that plays out, but that's what I was shown with a different deck. Well, and a lot of those earlier deaths, you know, they didn't have cell phones, no. you know? Yes. Rest in peace, Karina. Yes. Holmes, may you receive justice and your killer be identified. God bless. Yeah. For sure. All right. Now we're going to look at the Gilgo Beach uh, murders in New York. Let's just see if I can find, again, a page to share. Oh, Alex Jones must pay one point whatever, four million. Good, good. That's good. I'm glad. Good news. Does he? Does he? he lost? Yep. He should be in jail, too, because he perjured himself, too. He has to pay 4.1 million to Sandy Hook parents, jury rules. Good. Good. He made they, those poor people lost their children, and then he went and made them miserable. Disgusting. And people were harassing those parents who just lost their children. Some of them, I think, had to move. They did. Times he caused. They yeah, he caused so much suffering. Such that a jerk. He should be in prison. He should. 
good. And 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 he lied. I don't know, I, three four times um, under oath. So I mean, where's the perjury charge? Too. Exactly. Uh, okay. The, there's now I've, a lot of this. Unfortunately, is is through the New York Post, which isn't always the greatest. But let's see. We can go and we can look at New NBC New York. Okay. And that's new info released on Long Island. Let me just get this up. Uh, there's the there's the Gilgo four, but there were much more than four that were found. Okay, but there's four okay. here. There's a case. Let me just stop all the dumb stuff on this page so I can share it. All right, share screen. Hey, Kathleen, thank you for being here. Oh, that's Katie, hi. All right. So, sure the Miss and Cher, and hello to all of you coming in. Thank you so much. Uh, mysterious cold case of Gilgo Beach murders. Let's see, come on, open her up. Forensic yard. Okay. So, Long Island serial killing or... Gilgo Beach Murders is one of the most infamous unsolved cases of recent times. Mm -hmm. It's also known as the Long, Isle, Long Island Serial Killer, and the killer has been reported to have killed over 16 victims in Long Island. The serial killer is still unidentified, and victims were mentioned to be sex workers. Though the killings lasted for 20 years, the bodies were found between 2010 and 11. So all victims were found in very bad condition. Some were not, some were dismembered and dumped near the Southern uh, shore of Long Island. This came to light uh, after the disappearance of one of the victims, Shannon Gilbert. Okay, here's a little overview. The story began May, 2010 when a young woman by the name of Shannon Gilbert disappeared in the quiet secluded community of Oak Beach, Long Island. There is a dense plantation in between the beach and the road, which makes the place isolated and vulnerable to, to any crime. And on the night of May 1st, uh, 2010, 24 year old Shannon, uh, she was a Craigslist, she was known to be with a Craigslist client named Joseph. And Shannon was brought up by her mother and, okay, wanted to be a singer, but due to her unstable lifestyle, she was forced into prostitution. On that night, she went because she wanted to get a gift for her mother's birthday. While investigating her phone, a 23-minute call to 911 from Joseph's location was acquired by the experts. Now, still, no one has been arrested, folks. And this is also an affluent kind of area. As per Joseph and Shannon's medical report, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder for which she was not taking medication. And during her time with Joseph, she showed a distinct behavior change with which made her call 911 screaming, and she ran into the dark, banging on neighbors' doors for help, but they refused. On um, May in that year, she disappeared. Uh, this is what brought the case to light. So her case put a light on those that were, you know, about that area and that people were not aware of. And so the police arrived and they started looking for Shannon. And uh, the missing complaint, which her family filed, took four months, by the way. Hmm. Took four months for that to be approved. I'm just trying to kind of sum it up. All right. So four months for her identification, and then four, mo four more victims were found. Okay, so she was found. All right, I get it that way then. So they were all of the same stature. Again, a type. All the same age, you know, stature as Shannon. They all used Craigslist to escort clients. 
And in December 2010, John Malia and a K-9 found skeletal remains on the northern side of Ocean Parkway. And the remains were assumed to be Shannon at first, but people were shocked then to find out it was a different young lady, a Melissa uh, Bartholomew. And she was also handling Craigslist clients and was last seen in 2009, uh, the month of July. Okay. Of Craigslist? Uh-huh. Huh. And a, a person suspected to be a killer called her sister from Melissa's phone after Melissa's disappearance, and the language used by the person was abusive. The calls were traced to be from Madison Square Garden and Massapequa. During this investigation, uh, this investigator found three more victims, as I was stating, and they were uh, and are Maureen uh, Brainbird, Brambird, Brainbird Barnes, Amberlyn Costello, and Megan Waterman. Experts started assuming the murders were part of a serial killing um, that the, and the areas that were around the Gilgo Beach, she was bringing them to that location. In the case of Maureen, she was a sex worker and used the money to run her home and was known to disappear on the 10th of July, 2009. In this case, calls were obtained to her friend stating Maureen was last to be seen alive in and around the, the quote unquote whorehouse of Queens and it looks like the same guy, it says. All right. So he was a client. Yes, this was a client that was frequenting and using the Craigslist uh, escorts, escorts. Women and bringing them to that area. And the, the one of them was last, was last seen mm -hmm. out inside of her own home, which mm -hmm. she was using as basically like a bordello, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Again, these were people that were unfortunately having to earn their money this way. So Shannon's body, um, due to similarities and the place of identification, uh, the uh, people that they found were, the women that they found were known as the Gilgo Four. Shannon's body was found after a year on the 13th of September in 2011 in Oak Beach. In that one year, of course, you know, of searching, police found six more bodies, out of which five were unidentified. That was in 2011. The wow. only identifiable body among those six was Jessica Tra uh, Taylor, who went missing in July. Again, the month of July seems to also be the same, but the year 2000. And again, there was dismemberment. Um, and the torso was acquired from Manorville and she was found in July, uh, 26, 2003. So it took three years, but again, that's weird. She goes missing and then remains get found the same month, a year, three years later, her body was found above a, a plastic sheet, um, with a mutilated torso tattoo. Uh, it just gets kind of more gruesome about how people were, you know, taken apart. So where did they find the, the body? It wasn't on the beach or in the water. It was Another, buried? Yeah, there's some kind of area, areas that were around that Gilgo Beach. Okay. So apparently some of them were found around the beach, definitely. And it sounds like Oak Beach, different maybe parts of the beach. Because Gilgo Beach, I think, is quite, you know, expansive. It kind of looks like, just looking at this. Okay, so they have sus the suspects. Um, they have a Joseph Brewer, which was the client, Shannon, uh, was with. 
Then there's a Dr. Peter Hackett and a James Burke that was at, promoted to police chief two years after the disappearance of Shannon. Police chief? It is, yeah, it is believed that he had a romantic partnership with a prostitute and drug offender. He accessed his cruiser and weapon. She had accessed his cruiser and weapon. He was found guilty of having certain kinds of toys and, you know, pornography kinds of things that he shouldn't have. Me. Yeah, go Rose. So we can take a look. How about we take a look and see if any of these three okay. are was the sheriff, or, and then who are the other ones? The other one was Dr. Peter Hackett. He was a local physician um, accused by yeah. Shannon's mother to be the cause of death in Shannon. Um, a sheriff, a doctor. And one, this Joseph Brewer, who was Shannon's last client, um, is also, she said that, that she screamed and said that they would kill her. So when she was referring to him, after interrogation and investigation, Joseph Brewer, nothing was acquired and Joseph was cleared of charges. It sounds like there's more than one man in that area accessing these women on Craigslist. Flowing said she saw the movie on this. She oh. said, I won't be saying anything. Did they tell you, Flowing? Did they, they They never found out, huh? I think they have this suspicions. Is, is that one of the girls that got killed in that picture? Oh, sorry. It was blonde, too, I think. There was a mixture. Um, kind of reddish blonde kind of looking. Just any, it, there was a mixture of, of females. Uh, there was so many, I, up to 16. Uh, so I just let's uh, let's try so to see. make this. Um, was it any of the three? Was it any of the three suspected persons that they had? Was it any of the three suspected people? Yes. I'm getting. What are you getting? I'm getting a yes. I'm getting they're very cold and have they don't care about these women. And one of them was the doctor. The other one was a sheriff. Was mm -hmm. it? I'm getting a feeling about the sheriff. It's making me wonder. Sheriff? Where is the? Was it the sheriff? I get I'm there's like it's the sheriff. I do too because I get planning the seven of pentacles. This person knows how to deal with it and he did it in a very cold manner in a very yeah. proficient manner and there are a lot of police not saying all of them but there's a lot of police that abuse their wives that are abusive that abuse their power you know and may look down on women that do that for a living wouldn't surprise me if there was more than one but i get the ten of cups and the two of wands so i think maybe two men active particularly in this not just one it might have been but i think the sheriff was responsible uh-huh he really bothers me let me just how many murders was the sheriff responsible for one i get the sheriff was responsible for two of the murders murders. I don't know. Let's see. Why did the sheriff kill him? I'm going to ask about him particularly. He's overbearing. These are the cards I'm getting for the sheriff. Overpowers women. Likes that idea. And likes them to suffer. I get three. I get three. And this this is something I think he might do with the, t oh, there's three men. Oh my God. Maybe it's those three men, him and those three. Mm. Yeah. This is like kidnapping. This is, this is the eight of swords. This is not allowing these women to voluntarily leave. Yeah, and there's a lack of stability. Two of Pentacles. Two, two. Mm. 
that I think that definitely that sheriff's got a lot to do with it. We got the magician, so he knows how to make them disappear, quote unquote, mm -hmm. hide things. <clears throat> I got five of pentacles, and I'm feeling like they felt like I was asking about the sheriff, like he was locked, left out in the cold. He was he broke up. Somebody had broke up with him, and he was in some financial hardship. I think he was going through some financial difficulties. Somebody left him. He felt like he had been left out in the cold by somebody. And he got the nine of pentacles in reverse. So he may have been a reckless spender. Um, yeah. He was insecure. He, I think he overindulged in alcohol and things like that. I think he liked, um, I think he liked risk period. Yes. Yeah. Very superficial. Looked at women from a superficial kind of Very way. cold. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got the three of cups in reverse. So he was kind of, he was lonely and he was in solitude. I think whatever happened, maybe he had somebody leave him. He really didn't have a very good social life. And again, it talks about overindulgence and drinking too much. Um, yeah. So he, and he also, I think there was some cheating and affairs. So I think maybe he or his wife could have cheated on him and had an affair on him. And he was up and left him out in the cold, could have took his money in a divorce or something like that, or felt mm -hmm. like she stole from him. It, got the four of wands in reverse he was from his, his family he was unhappy there was domestic problems in his family a lot of conflict maybe, um, maybe that's why he was attracted to be somebody in a, a powerful position of control yes yes and and he got the ten of pentacles ah, in reverse so yeah, he was in financial disaster. He was he was he had went through or was going through a divorce, mm -hmm. and it was the end of the commitment. I think they were Thank fighting you. over money, him and his uh, wife, and it was an unconventional. He was an uncon it might have been an unconventional relationship too. Maybe it was an open relationship. I don't know, but there was a lot of family feuds, a lot of problems with money. Yes. Let's see what else I get. Oh, I, so I'm going to ask. Was it, mm -hmm, it definitely feels like one of those personalities that's very egotistical, very revengeful, mm -hmm. wants to overpower control. I mean, why would you want to do that? It's so. No, but it's like, you know, some men, if their mother, if maybe he had bad relationship, it talked about bad uh, neglect as a child. Yep. So abandonment. I neglected and had abandonment issues and being a ignored woman who, who was a gold digger who kind of took him for his money maybe and so he had a grudge yeah, against women. definitely all about kidnapping also like the 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 holding people against their will the very act of it is appealing to him yep knight of pentacles been doing it for a long time so it makes me think the sheriff you know because they can also arrest people. So this type of, you know, control and making people by your authority through your job, it just feels like a long time of doing this kind of thing. Yes, and the lovers. I wonder if he tried to arrest her. And that's how he got her. I mean, these two women. Did the sheriff arrest the women he killed? Or he could have just hired them as a client from the he hired them as a client. Yeah, that's what that's what kind of I think, but who knows? Go ahead and see. Okay, did the sheriff did the sheriff hire these women as clients? I'm getting no. Did he arrest them? I'm thinking he used his power to arrest them hmm. and then get he had the woman. Them. Yeah. They had to come with him. If he arrested, they didn't have a choice. They were sex workers. If he wanted to arrest them, you have to get in the car. You don't have a choice. You're under his power and he's not a good guy just because he has a badge. 
Yeah, and that's not unheard of, unfortunately. No, no, it's not. In fact, if I ever got pulled over, it's like I'll take the ticket and fight it in court because you don't want to argue with them because you don't know no. if they're on a power trip and, you know, yep. it hurts you. Want to keep it easy. <laughs> That's what else. So, getting the wheel of fortune. Other girls. Was the teacher responsible for any of the murders? Was the teacher responsible? I get no for him. Let me ask about the sheriff one more time. Sheriff, I definitely keep getting yes over and over on that sheriff. I'm going to check on that doctor. I think that he gave them had access probably to drugs, but let me just see if he did anything like that. That doctor. Did the doctor give these women drugs? Did he give them drugs? That illegal drugs? I don't get that the doctor was a good man, though. No, he's creepy as heck. It's the reason they suspected him. Now, flowing who watched the movie, it's like, come on, come on, flow and tell us we're right. <laughs> Are we missing anything? Hi, Dean. I'm just looking at it. Of the Red Moon Tarot and Jake Tay, you really need to come on here with us. You're so you're you're good. You got some good instincts. Absolutely does. So it's one of the things that's noted about this case is that not many serial killers maintain a body disposal site, but this one was maintained. So that is also uh, when it added with the remains that they were finding in that area wider, you know, as they went out wider and looking, um, they found that the killer may be responsible for up to 17 murders and more than half of them, as I was saying, unidentified. This is from a article from 2015 from true crime. Um, the nameless victims include an Asian male that was, um, wearing women's clothing. So maybe they just identified differently and, um, a young, a mother and, uh, and her young child. So this was a disposal site. And it goes back to somebody that's very familiar with that site, very comfortable. And they get to relive the event, you know, as they go back to it. Sexual sadist. Because he took Melissa's phone and makes the phone call. And he described what he did to her sister. Wow. Horrible. I'm not going to go into that because that's just salacious and ugly. And these people deserve to be remembered. Not like that. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to, I want to look at that doctor. Okay. I got the, uh, the girls that we're talking about it happened to, I got the nine of cups in reverse. So these were girls who, you know, they were not happy. They were kind of having to do this. They were miserable having to be, you know, escorts, a lot of them. They had some of them were immature, young, younger girls. They may have overindulged in alcohol and drugs and things like that, too. I think a lot of times you do when you're in that kind of business. Mm -hmm. um, eight of pentacles in reverse. So I think that, uh, yeah, they were trying, they were in debt. They were trying to make some money. Um, Many of them have children. Mm -hmm. Yep. Needing, needing the money. But then I got the magician uh, clarified by the journey card. So I feel like he manipulated them, like I said, into getting in their car, into going somewhere with him. Oh, Yes. And he had influence. So that's what makes me think it was the sheriff. You know, he had influence to, to make them do what he wanted them to do. And uh, I did get the death card with the main female. So that is. He's responsible for her passing. Responsible for her passing, passing. So this man who was manipulative had power and influence and resources. And he had the desire 
to definitely had to power. Them. And he had the skill and he had the ability and he was smart and he knew how to do it. He made them get in a vehicle with him, took them somewhere and yeah, and and the death and the female killed them. Mm -hmm. So he was somebody that they, that's why I think they felt like they had to listen because he was authority. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting the Ace of Swords, you know, with these men. I, I, I feel like I feel like older men mm -hmm. of power. So that I think yeah. that doctor and I I'm getting a feeling that that doctor and that um, sheriff may have kind of worked hand in hand at times because I was thinking about that doctor. And then when I get that, and then I had the two of wands, you guys and the 10 of cups, is he supplying the drugs? Is he also supplying the drugs for this? You know, I think some of these women were offered drugs and given maybe more than they wanted. Just a feeling. This doctor and the sheriff, where are they working together at some point? Or helping each other at times? Because I kind of think so. But I could be wrong. Hmm. Well, I'm getting that strength card that desire that to be animalistic and to overpower and i think yeah there's a they had to definitely trying to cover up what they were doing are they princess of pentacles i don't really like that and the queen of pentacles yeah so we want to know about what do we want to know about the doctor I'm just curious if if he was, you know, helping out. Like if they kind of the doctor help out in the murder of these girls. Did the doctor help out in the murder? I'm getting yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe he gave them drugs or maybe he gave this guy yep. something to put in their drinks. Yep, I think that's exactly what I think. He he was the pharmacist. Did something get put in these girls' drink? Yeah, they were drugged. I think the girls were drugged. I think they yeah, were, Ruby. I think they would say something like, how about a drink? And okay, they're getting a drink, but they're getting more than they expect in that drink. You know what I mean? Right. Did the sheriff and the doctor know one another? Did the sheriff and the doctor know one another? Did they and, know? Yeah, they knew each other. Were they friends? They were friends. I think they knew each other. Did the doctor feel guilt about what he had done? Did the doctor feel guilt? He didn't feel guilt. Mm -mm. I got that four of cups that neither one of Why, them. though? Why did the doctor want to do that? I mean, I know the Control. sheriff. Control. Yeah. Turns them on. I yeah. I think so. I think they kind of worked, helped each other out with this. Thing. Yeah, Dean, we got the sheriff because he had power and was able to influence them to get into the car because they had to mm -hmm. and that they may have been drugged as well. They could say, oh, they were drunk. They were drunkards. Jake says, I saw a circle of women holding hands in a circle with a red cross in the middle of it. I almost get the feeling that there's things that I'm being blocked from because yeah. the case is still evolving yep could be i think there's going to be more and more that will come out and i think that because this one had been a, a, an elected official a sheriff that's slowed down definitely been re one of the reasons why because their own had to get him out for other corruption it sounds like do you think that, are they alive? Is the sheriff and the doctor alive yet? 
that's a good question. Is the sheriff still alive? Is the sheriff who is responsible for these killings still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Let's see the is suspect. The doctor, is the doctor, is he still a suspect? Is he still a suspect? It's saying maybe. I think sometimes when police do things, they're more protected. Police do not tell on other police. You've seen that a lot of times. Mm -hmm. And there was, a, there was a belt also that was found early on in the investigation. And it had like a the letters HM on it. HM? Mm -hmm. Let me see. I, I guess can... the doctor is not alive anymore, but the sheriff is. With their energy, I'm getting a partnership. I scratch your back if you've got mine between the sheriff and the doctor. That's what we were wondering, Dean, if he supplied the, the, the drugs mm -hmm. put into the drink. He would have known exactly how much and everything, you know, to give them. And then he went out and arrested them, got him in the car, got him to leave with him. That's right. He had the know-how of how to get rid of them and not get caught. For sure. Let me see if I can find. Jake says he got the doctor wasn't alive as well. Yeah, I, I don't think he's alive, but I think that the, the sheriff is. May not because I, I remember back then and he was already pretty, pretty much older. So there is the belt and with the initials HM, I know that's not the greatest, but oops, go back. That's I get about four years. Okay. Four years from now, there's going to be something that's going to come out about that share of somebody that's going to talk later again in about four years or so, and he will be caught. He will be found out. Yeah, Dr. So Peter will be alive when he gets found out. That Dr. Peter Hackett, he yeah, he was a former physician. So then he was he was retired uh, from Suffolk County, and oh, he was a bit older. Uh huh. Was living in Oak Beach when Shannon went missing in his neighborhood. I asked him, "How did you get my number?" Said Mari. That's the mother of Shannon, and he told me. That is its policy that if anybody goes to his house, that he is to have contact information. And I knew that was wrong. Shannon, one, none of my children would ever give my number to anyone. But it was, it said contact information. So they went to him as their doctor, these girls? No. They went to his house. Who they went to his house. Who does that? What girls come to he was wanting, He was wanting him some Craigslist escort company. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to claim that anybody that comes to his house, that he asks yeah. for their contact information. And I doubt that. Seriously, that sounds like a lie from Yeah. That does not sound. He and he says that, you know, uh, Let's see. Dr. Hackett is a man that deserves a close look by investigators, according to um, the Shannon Gilbert's family. And um, he, he, he's, he makes up a lot of stuff, apparently. He never ran such a home. I think he made up a, a thing like he was helping these young women that were sex workers to get back on their feet. So he made up some lie about that. And it's there, her mother is saying he never ran such a home. It's a complete fantasy, a drug infused fantasy. Oh, we were getting drugs from him. Mm -hmm. he was and, drugs. and why is he making these fantasies, uh, you know, about this case? Why has he not been thoroughly investigated? And what is his full name? Do you know? Dr. You Hackett. Dr. Hackett. And he denied, and I saw him, but he was, I saw this on TV. He, he denied it on national television and in writing that he ever made those phone calls. Um, but he acted so guilty. It's just, it's hard to tell, but he, he was so uncomfortable when they confronted him with that. You can see it on body board. language and everything. You can tell he was lying. totally something's wrong. Something he's, he, he knows something. 
Yeah. So. I see what I get on him. The, the oh. Gilbert family is su suing, was suing him for wrongful death of Shannon and gave him three dep. There were, he had been given three depositions in regards to her in a civil suit against him, but he claims he had nothing to do with it. Okay. Hey, Jay. Jay, hi, Jay. So, ooh, I forgot to put that this is the, somebody should come, called me out on that. The Gil, fuck on it. The Gil Go Beach, New York. Well, I get the doctor is uh, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. I feel like he was a very arrogant man and and uh very impatient very arrogant um five of cups yes sadness and grief remorse i don't know i don't know let me see did he plan on those women being killed or just thinking they were going to drug them and do what they want with them i think he's he's a deluded fantasist that that was doing whatever he wanted to do. Yeah, he was a he was a lonely guy, not a happy guy. Uh, it talks about rom. I think he may have bit, had some sort of remorse, maybe later in life, because he did what he did. He did because of their occupation. He didn't like their occupation. Didn't you know? There's yeah. a real coldness that that I got. Yeah, with that four of of. Yeah. Um, he Cut. thought we had integrity and ethics, you know, and, uh, mm -hmm. judging them on their occupation, you know. Yep. He wanted to discipline them somehow. And Ten of Swords, he got that he somehow he felt betrayed or backstabbed. Let me see if that was from one of them. Yeah. Here we have the whole idea of an independent woman, but something is not as it seems about them. Um, so yeah. with the three of cups and the, it just feels like these women, these are women that they can aggress upon and drug and do as they please because of their occupation. Yeah. Maybe and, he thought they were going to betray him and tell on him too, because it talks about possibly complete ruin. It would ruin his career. Yeah, that could ruin his and, career if they told. And Dean says he's getting strange energy from the victims. Are you? Um, mm -hmm. And Isadora is asking, is, "Are these the murders?" Yes, they are. With the burlap material, mm -hmm. some of them were uh, found in burlap material; others in plastic. And most were dismembered, you know, to, in effort to, I think, slow down identification. Yeah, and I got the wheel of the uh, wheel of fortune in reverse and a woman, so it was bad luck for those women. Women were um, being targeted. Women yeah. sex workers from Craigslist, especially during 2010 and 11. And but but it, it looks like the victims went missing from about the year 2000 on up to about 2011 when because of Shannon being searched for kind of bringing the spotlight onto the cases so her spirit bless her soul do you know what Shannon's last name was yeah Gilbert Gilbert I want to see if she can tell me anything yeah let's see what Shannon has to say let's give her the cards and kind of give her the floor yeah, Dean says he's sensing anger and fighting back. Well, I'm sure, but, you that know, showed up. they were drugged, they couldn't fight too hard either, you know? But that showed up in my cards, too, with the Seven of Wands, them trying to resist. I think they did, yeah. And Shannon did. She tried to get help, and people weren't answering their doors to help her. Shame on them. Yeah, can you believe somebody would knock at your door asking for help, but you wouldn't? help them or call the police at least 911 or the I would absolutely 
some of these girls were spunky and were ready to defend themselves. I agree. But yeah, their own personal needs were totally the whole point of it. You know, these they looked at these women as disposable. But there was a young mother. I do want to look at that too. What was the deal with the young mother and the child? Because and and the um, I think that tr probably trans uh, person that they found the Asian male. I get the sun. There's going to be something revealed. Something's going to come out very quickly. Yeah. I get the star as far as Shannon, you know, she has hope and faith that mm -hmm. there, and she's healed now. She's, she's not here anymore, but she's wanting, she's optimistic and has hope that they're going to find this person. She wants Four him cups. exposed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so too, because four cups in reverse has to do with getting clarity. And, yes. and uh, she wants there to be awareness of what happened. Yep. And to me, with this Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups, this was people that were using the escort services. Jake says, Shannon's telling me that there's someone that they suspected who had nothing to do with it and was intentional. To yes, I could see uh, the police doing that, too, trying to put the blame on somebody else. Yeah. Yeah, that would, that would not at all surprise me. And she's talking about I get Shannon talking about being vulnerable and the need to be, have your guard up to be protected uh, mm -hmm. and not be so you're, cause you're too vulnerable not to be doing that kind of work. You are way I too vulnerable. You don't have the protection you need. So page of swords, I'm thinking is somebody who's going to be gossiping. There may be gossip or somebody who speaks out in the future. There's a message or something about this. And, yep. and, 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 and somebody could have been, it also can stand for a stalker. You know, some of these women could have been, you know, purposely picked. That's what I got that there is a type that came up and um, they took their emotions out on these women. Yes. In the assault. Yeah, because I got King of Wands in reverse, so they were forceful mm. to them. They yeah. they tried to force themselves on them, and they, they were unyielding. They were like, no, no, we're not going to let you. you I, know, think they, mm -hmm, I think that they enjoyed provoking that kind of sense of helplessness. Again, the sadistic mm -hmm. nature that the police uh, confirm. I think they had a prejudice against sex workers in particularly, and I think that they, these girls were powerless yes. to do anything. Between being drugged, between him, his, the power he had, they were powerless. They really were. Those poor girls. And I get a very protective message from, from Shannon Gilbert about you know, our women need to be much more protected. Uh, they are in complete, vul completely vulnerable. Justice. And, uh, and the queen of pentacles. That's, I think her mother getting justice for her, or this could possibly also be her mother and, Maybe a, a female prosecutor getting them justice. Yeah, I get the Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. There's a sense of winning a battle and bringing clarity. I think they will have yet um, clarity and bringing forth charges or who was responsible. I see her mother or somebody carrying this battle forward and yeah, secrets will come out. There is the um, high priestess and death. Secrets about these deaths and about who's responsible. Yeah. And here's the spirit. Sorry, here's the spirit arching over the Grim Reaper, leaving the body. So it's. I almost feel like these souls will that 
the person the, the person's responsible i have a feeling it's more than one but not more than three that have were were involved in in doing this creating this situation largely one though that doctor and that sheriff but there i think there could have been one more i think so too I got, they felt like they were left out in the cold. They, they, you know, this hasn't been, you know, found. Also, they were doing what they were doing because maybe they were left out on the cold, out of runaways, things like that. that not wanted, not feeling wanted, not feeling accepted. Mm -hmm. And the swords in reverse makes me think that Dean might be right, that they may have accused somebody who wasn't, that wasn't, it wasn't clear who it was. So it's not true. It's the opposite of the truth, opposite of clarity. So I think they may have told somebody else. I wonder, you know, and, and they felt they felt trapped. They, they were, were absolutely. Trapped. I kept getting that card too, the Eight of Swords. And that Didn't blindfold makes me even wonder if they were blindfolded. I think they were. It's just a feeling. I, I don't think that person wanted them to know be able to know where they were really at mm -mm. and they were just trapped in their thoughts but i get this i feel like that is that's uh, information that's going to be coming out you know what mm -hmm. do you see it as yes i think so too jr says jake so true recently they released a video of one of the victims in a hotel pointing the figure at her guess Pointing her finger, you mean? Yeah. Pointing the finger at her guest? I think maybe pointing the finger at her guest at the hotel or something. I Let's see. Well, I got the magician and those clarified by the lovers. So I'm wondering if they are going to manifest what happened to those people. Oh, know? that's... I forgot. That's right. Shannon's sister ended up killing their mother. Shannon's she, sister? Yeah. She had mental illness, and unfortunately, she attacked and murdered their mother. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That poor, poor family. Yeah. Young women, it's just so dangerous, you know, anymore for them to always has been. But to go out alone, especially to a bar. Yeah. It, it, don't don't do it. Not worth it. Bad energy there anyway. Do something. You know different. what I would do now? I would tell my daughter if they went out, you go out with other people. You leave with who you came with. You leave with the girls you came with, and yep. don't take a drink. You know how people offer you a drink? Don't take a drink unless you the you know a beer. I'd want the lid on it. I want to open it myself, or yeah, I want to watch the drink made. Exactly. And that's exactly what I think everyone should be doing. You never know these days. But if you're no. going to go there, be, be mindful. Uh, JR says the news was saying that the person that she was in the hotel with could have been involved. Yeah, I'm sure. I think that there's, I don't think just my, I just don't, my intuition says that there's two to three people responsible for those bodies being yeah. and in buried in the beaches or the beach the stretch of that beach and, and it is four right so i was getting mm -hmm. like maybe two from the sheriff and the doctor i don't know and maybe the other two were from another person right that's what i kind of sense burlap yeah and what is it why couldn't they figure out with the burlap Burlap is easily found on farms and ranches, animal feeds, bags and such. Yeah. It's just curious that they would have it at that area. I mean, at the beach, what were they using it for? Where couldn't they figure that out? Too many weirdos. Yes. Well, if they don't want to find out if the sheriff was involved and a, and a, and a respected doctor was involved, you know, money, you guys have seen yeah. Money gets away with a whole bunch of stuff that us poor people wouldn't get away with. Not you a have chance. Much power and influence, you get away with stuff. It's sad, Not. that's true. But I think it looks good for us in future from Shannon's point of view, because she gave us the sun. 
that th we're going to, we will find out, I think, those who were involved. Yeah. I do. I think it's coming. I'm just going to give it one more shuffle roo, and then we'll close the live. Okay. When will they find it? I don't know if I did that. Yeah. I still get about four years. Let me see if I can use my time oriented deck. I just got it. Oh, here it is. Linda Sandoval says, Oh, yeah, I get this. The 911 dispensers drink, then drive, and they say we are the cops. We can do this. Yeah. Yeah. They I know when I was younger. I was dating this guy. He worked at a prison and uh, his brother was a cop and we were going to a party. I was, I was maybe 22 and we went to this party for his brother because he was getting promoted to FBI or something like that. And then they had a, a radio there and they said, get your cups. We're going to a party. We were going to a, a, a frat party or whatever, you know, at the college. I'm right. like, well, we were invited. I go, these are cops. And they go, well, who better to crash a party with? So we went to this party with a bunch of cops. And, and there was one guy who came out of the room and recognized one of the cops. He goes, he goes, oh, he's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. You know, and he goes, oh, I'm not here to arrest you. And we sat there drinking at a party we weren't invited to because I was with a bunch of cops. So cops, they, they do what they want. They yeah. drink drugs. Yes. They take drugs from people when they get find drugs that some of them take them and keep some of it or all of it. Yeah. They've been known to do that. There have been some that have been known to do that. Yeah. How many people become cops because they want power? Yeah. You know, and how many innocent people, you know, they had one guy shot him 90 times, shot him 60. They, they shot 90 times, hit him 60 times. He had a tail light that was out. He was scared and he ran because why wouldn't he be scared when you see, especially how they treat black people. And yes. you know, so he ran and they shot him, hit him 60 times. That's overkill. I mean, they, yeah. shot him, they had to shoot once in the leg to, to get him to stop, but they just shot him and shot him and shot him. Way too much fear. Away with it. Yeah. Way too much fear, you know, and not enough balance. No. So they let's really see. need to make sure these police are trained right and get rid of the bad ones. They do because they it makes it more dangerous for the good the good folks that are out there doing a very dangerous, thankless job. Yes. Did you see recently there was they were arrested this black man and he was in a car and the, the guy, the cop, tried to grab him and he was backing away and he was gonna pepper spray him. He goes, just pepper spray me if you're gonna pepper spray. And 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 he was he was going, I'll take your soul out of your MF and body. And so the female cop, this is recent, grabbed Ooh. his belt to pull him back and he turned around and started saying, Don't you touch me and started choking his, his female, female partner partner. Holy choking her. And the other cops just stood there. And it turned out that she's suing him now, and he was fired, but who knows if he'll just go to another precinct. Hopefully, Hopefully not. not. Hopefully not, not now that know. people are more aware of that kind of nonsense. Let me just use, the, use this timing deck and see if I can get on a full sense of when this declaration exposure of those who are responsible is let's just see Ooh, i'm having a power surge <laughs> so if you see me blush it's, it's i'm not feeling i'm not feeling whatever i'm just i'm getting hit with a power surge oh lordy power surge you mean a hot flash yes Is that a I hot feel, flash Yes, I feel like I'm, you look beautiful. I was looking at your eyes, yeah. and I'm like, you you put your eye makeup on so pretty. Thank you. You look just, so nice. I have fun. It's enjoyable. I try to put stuff on, and I'm just not very good at it. I oh, need I my love, daughter. To help it's me too bad you weren't stuff. here. I just set you down. Have a greatest time of all. I'll just put oh, it all on. Great. I'd love to do that. Whew, this feels. I better. wish I was there too in California. I wish y'all were too, because we've got the fog coming in now. 
and there's a bit of a breeze and y'all would not be would not be melting. Hi, Mama Bear. Don't worry about being late. You can always watch watch it in uh, you know record record. Hi, Mama Bear. <laughs> Let's see what Hi, I get. Mama. I get farther in the future. Let me shut off a lamp on this. Um, farther in the future, and it says when you have moved on. Oh, great! So probably when I've kicked the bucket. Uh, you're awakening into higher dimensions. All right, years innovative pioneer so i think i'm getting a sense of of them being able to improve in technology i think with what to go over that evidence again maybe those i i think they're going to get something from it yet because it looks like a very technical i know i'm sorry about the background but it looks like a very technical um technology type of oriented and the hand is being out like this so it, and it was a fingerprint so i think on that bag there's going to be something oh and unexpectedly it'll be a sudden turn of events and there will be some surprises uh it's there is like a shock so we get like the thunderbolt so I think there's going to be something that is going to come through off of those plastic bags in which the women were found. I buried I really it. Do. Uh huh. It I says, got asked for help from others, so I'm thinking other people are going to help them. They're going to ask for some help from other people, or there'll be other people. And I asked, will they find it? And I got double yes, yes, and yes. They're going to find I, out. I'm getting you already knew, and I'm getting Pisces season. Sorry about the traffic here. Uh, more action helps gain momentum. And this is intuitive, sensitive perception. So in the Pisces season, February, March, you already knew, says the third eye, subconscious. It's true. Trust your intuition. So that shall be interesting. So let's keep, keep focused on that. What do you get? I'm going to mute my mic because we've got the Indianapolis 500 going on out here. Well, I got that it's, there is evidence that's going to come in. They're moving forward with it. This was upside down, so try things are not being balanced. There's there's confliction. They have some conflicting ideas on what they think it is. Mm -hmm. And like JR said, maybe a living victim will come forward. Yeah, I think they're keeping it close to their chest. You know oh, what they wow. know. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I'm just in the bottom of the deck. I got. Uh, Ace of Swords, so again, clarity, intuition, clarity, having clarity, and the Ace of uh, Wands, again, information coming in. Yep. Yeah. King of Pentacles, somebody's going to, somebody in charge, somebody that's going to put it together. Mm -hmm. Is going to put it together that they're. I get four years. We'll see. You can't be exactly sure, but at least yeah. it's an approximate. Yeah. And I get further in the future. So that's yeah, certainly. I just hope sooner rather than later they catch them. But yeah, they're, they're conflicted about, there may be more than one person that they're looking at. Yeah. And I think something about the technology and some becoming advanced enough to do something with evidence on those plastic bags that something will be found and it'll become really clear. And I think they'll share that. Yeah. And we're going to learn more. And that's a good idea because with those bags, they should be able to get some sort of, you know, hair, uh, uh, you know, something and find out where those bags came from. Right. I think there's got, I think there is definitely, definitely more than we know and maybe that they'll be able to find. Thanks, Linda. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. Thank you, Linda. So I think, I think we've covered what we can and we are seeing that it looks like yet in the future, 
there's more to come on this and definitely identification of those responsible. I hope they find them, but isn't it sad that some of them they find after they're dead, you know? Yeah. But you yeah. know what? No matter what, they're going to get their karma. They're going to, you know? Yes. Whether here on earth or after. They will wish that it had been on earth. I really they do will. believe because It'd be easier if it was on earth and they could exactly. truly ask for forgiveness, but I don't think people like that will ask for forgiveness because they're psychopaths or sociopaths and narcissists don't care they have no don't care. they don't have that pathway you know that pathway of empathy if you had empathy you couldn't do that exactly exactly you wouldn't think that way you wouldn't think no. oh this person just because of their job is a disposable person for me to wipe my feet on and take my aggro out on no mm -hmm. yeah misogynistic men Unfortunately, yes. And we need that to be clear, clear, clear. So if you guys appreciated this kind of mystery and we've got some set up, please give us a thumbs up. And I want to thank Deanne for joining me as I'm really appreciating working with you on this. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I, like I love it. I love Good. it. Good, I'm good. excited to do more and have you on my channel and do more mysteries. I've always wanted somebody to do mysteries with. Well, I'm ready, willing, and able. So just let me I know. I love mysteries. Thank you. And thank you so much uh, to you guys that are here. I really appreciate it. And yes. um, we'll see you next time week and also Deanne what do you have coming up I oh, my next, oh, my, next my next live is on Sunday we mind Thursdays and Sundays same time around 305 Pacific uh, okay, well this, this weekend I'm going out with my best friend Yay. for a girlfriend getaway then we haven't done that we've been best friends since we were 12 so I'm excited about that that's awesome and Tuesday at 1 30 I'm going to be on with Kevin's loving vibrations uh, oh. Wednesday at uh, 6 p.m., Jen's World and Sheila and uh, Kathleen J. Lightworker are going to be on with me. Uh, the 11th, I get to meet and be on with Katie Moonchild for the first time. Oh, that's going to be a gas. I'm excited about that. And, uh, oh, that's about, that's about enough. I know um, the 17th, I am having on Danny Shay. Oh, Jen that's right. from Jen's World, Debbie Freebird Spirit, and the 20th, I'm having Lena Rodriguez come on. Bang, bang, bang. That is that is amazing. You're you're much more you're much more uh uh together than I've been this month. But I'm I'm uh, no, I'm not. I just have a calendar on my phone that saves me. I wouldn't remember anything without it. And Alexa, <laughs> me neither. my Alexa reminds me of stuff too. That's yeah, th thank goodness for that for reals. Uh, Katie and I will be doing, actually bringing up Katie Moonchild, she and I will be doing a reading on Gaia and we have yet to set that date. It'll be a pre-recorded type of premiere. And then you and I and and Katie and Katie going to be doing some stuff too. So just stick yes, around. Yes. I was thinking of that. I was thinking of asking Katie if maybe me, you and her could be to do something together. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come up with something. Thanks so, Katie, I think we'll have fun. Oh, of course. So stick around, mm -hmm. and please share us with like-minded folk. And thank you so much for watching this. And thumbs yeah. up, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, please thanks. hit the thumbs up button for for Maya. She's awesome. Thank you. And so is Dan. Make sure you're subscribed. At DM Shield Main Tarot, if you didn't know. That's right. I don't know and dark up here like usual. It's in the description box. So, oh. yeah, I try to make sure. So, oh, hi, Karen Robinson. I'm sorry that you're coming in as it's ending, but you can always watch the rewind. That's that's the great part of it. And I, do that all the time. It, I have to. There's just you can't you can't watch everybody as much as you'd like to. It's kind of like incremental. But you can always hit the save for later. Yep. All right. Got to go pee. See y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Take care, you guys.